Mexican President Obrador is dead set against start sending troops to the border to deal with the drug problem at that border and the cartels that dominate all of that action at that border. Uh, that has Congressman Dan Crenshaw of Texas wondering if maybe that is a sign of a president too much at the mercy and control of those same cartels. He joins us right now. Congressman, very good to have you. Hey, great to be with you, Neil. What do you think of what he's saying right there? Well, he said a number of things. Uh, one of the things he said is he's going to campaign uh, against any Republicans who um, support going after the cartels. Uh, he makes straw man arguments. So the other thing he says is, you know, you, you, you can't violate our sovereignty. You can't invade Mexico. And a few other commentators have said something like that, too. And, of course, that's not what anyone is proposing. What we're proposing is authorizing military force to go against the cartels. Now, obviously, the assumption is we would do, do that by, with, and through the Mexican government, just as we do with many other governments around the world that have insurgencies. And it's in our interest uh, to stabilize those countries and make sure that they can live with sovereignty and stability and safety, which is what we want for the Mexican people. You know, the thing that has changed over the last few years is this fentanyl issue. The cartels have been living in Mexico and, 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 and practically controlling that country for, for years. But fentanyl has really changed things. It's killing tens of thousands of Americans. And that's the impetus for what we want to do and use the, the, the full force of government against these cartels, preferably with the Mexican president uh, side by side with us. So it's very disappointing that um, that he lashes out in this way. It makes me think that he's more defensive of the cartels than his own people. You do wonder as well, Congress, at least the timing of the remarks, just as people like you are making traction, even talking about troops at the border to do just this. I mean, you were the first to say it. Now I notice many others beginning to, to, to parrot what you were saying. I don't know whether that's leading to more congressional support for such a move, but what can you tell us? There's plenty of Republican support, most likely. Uh, I, I'm working very hard to get Democrat support on this. No, notice I, I haven't tried to make this a partisan issue. Uh, I tell my Democrat friends, look, this is this. You've got the Mexican president saying he's going to campaign against anyone who goes after the cartels, the same cartels that kill tens of thousands of Americans by lacing street drugs with fentanyl. This is a national security issue. We can put the border issue and immigration issues to the side. We're not going to agree on those. I understand we're not going to agree on those. But we have to be able to agree that this can be a bipartisan issue. There's a, there's a, there are multiple cartels with, with, with more power than most militaries around the world right at our border, sending fentanyl across, purposefully killing Americans. Mexico is on the verge of becoming a failed state, uh, at least at least a narco uh, corrupt state, uh, which would be the worst possible situation for the United States. Mexico is one of our most important partners. It is in our interest that the Mexican people thrive, that they prosper and that they are safe. The, the, the first step to any country prospering is safety. And so we, we have to address it. The time the time is now. It's gotten it's gone too far. Our State Department has put out a warning on any American traveling to Mexico, even popular tourist spots in Cancun, Cabo, what have you. Do you agree with that? Of course, I agree with it. It's, it's one of the most dangerous countries um, for for Americans to travel to, I believe. And uh, I believe it's the number one as far as American deaths per year. You know, there's tens of thousands of Mexican citizens who are disappeared or murdered annually. The cartels have total control over many parts of this country. So it's, it's, it's absolutely not surprising that they would put out those warnings. Look what happened to those four Americans who just went down for a medical appointment across the border. I mean, this is how bad it is. Two were murdered, two were kidnapped. But I want, I want people to note something else. Look how scared the cartels got when they realized they made that mistake and they turned over people, maybe for a show. Maybe they weren't even the guys who did it, but it doesn't matter. They were scared. So it just shows that if we put pressure on them, if we say, look, America has woken up to this, you guys are done for, we can, we can change their behaviors. We can make them at least stop doing fentanyl. That's another purpose behind this. That's why I want to gin up this conversation. And the president of Mexico should be with us, not with the cartels. Yeah, and that would be a huge act in and of itself if that were to come to pass. Uh, Congressman Crenshaw, very good seeing you. Thank you very much.